countries to agree to spray these chemicals? Man, it must be a real serious reason. Global warming? Nah, I don't think so. Why else would they do it, Benny? Well, think about it. I already made videos explaining it. Earth's magnetic field. The core's getting weaker. Meteors. Let's do some more investigating. But it, it that's the point at hand. You, 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 how serious that is to get every country in the world to come together to agree to spray these chemicals. You know how difficult that is. The, 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 the task it took to get that accomplished without you even knowing about it because it's a sh secret. And that's where this the first thing the government tells you to lie. second thing the government tells you to lie to cover up the first lie comes at. Because Alex Jones came out and they had a documentary on his YouTube channel. What in the world are they spraying on us? And I did the research to find out that was a government made video by the way. Yeah. You didn't know that, did you? Well, you do now. And when I seen that, I said, no. Because the first thing the government tells me is a lie. So I started looking in the opposite direction from what they're telling me. Same thing was when they shot that spy satellite off in space. When they said it was a spy satellite, you mean to go tell me you're going to tell your enemies you just shot off a spy satellite in space? You're going to go tell them that? No, it was a lie. So I looked in the opposite direction for that story and found out it was a laser weapon. See, I mean, it, it's, it's a serious issue when you think about all the countries in the world coming together as one to spray these chemicals. I mean, it's, it's, it's just mind-boggling that they, they accomplished that. Really is. Now, we got the power grid coming up. Power grid X drill. I want to go back a little farther than the power grid drill. Alright, let's go back farther. I posted a video Russian troops training with FEMA. And I showed you on the video, you can go back and look at it, I do still believe it's up. And you can see the video with the Russian troops getting out of helicopters with weapons, pointing them at American civilians who were invited to watch the drill. They got out of the helicopters and pointed these weapons at the civilians. And went on and practiced their drill. It was with FEMA in case of a national, national, natural disaster that might take place in Russia. Well, for one, if it's a FEMA drill, where was the water? Where was the medication, the food, the tents? Everything that FEMA would need for a disaster where was it none of it was there just weapons being pointed and training on United States soil now you think if the disaster was going to take place in Russia and you were training them you would train them in their own country where they're familiar with their surrounding area where the disaster would take place but they didn't do that they trained on the streets of America and let's just say that they were going to train them here in the United States. We have bases of cities and towns designed especially for that training. Why wouldn't they train them there? Because hmm? the first thing they told you was a lie. It was a drill with FEMA for a national disaster. So I look the other way, because I know it's a lie. They're telling me a lie. I'm not believing it. It's the first thing they told me. Hmm. 
Then we come up to the Chinese and Russian and peacekeeping troops in the United States, which is only semi true. They were here, and some are still here, but most of them are stationed in Canada, Mexico, and now Hawaii. You have the Russians and Chinese in Mexico and in Canada. You have the body bags and FEMA coffins down in the islands. You have FEMA stationed around the Washington, D.C. area with massive medical supplies, food, water, etc., etc. You had a nuclear drill in Ohio with the Indiana National Guard. Now all this training about the power grid X is supposed to be for a so-called EMP attack on America. Well, who would be capable of carrying out such an attack? I can only think of three. The Chinese would be one. The Russians would be two. And the Chinese and Russians together would be three. But wait a minute. That's not possible. Because we're training with the Chinese and Russians in some other countries. You mean to tell me that you would train, the United States military would train with the Chinese and Russians for such an attack and show them our defense, our secrets, and how we would protect ourselves? Don't make sense. That's that first lie they're telling you again. Looked all their way. They are stationed around the United States for a peacekeeping assignment in the United States. Well, that's the plan. We're going to go beyond their plan because the truth is just that, the truth. But they agreed to help the United States for an asteroid hits. They'll come in, they'll keep peace and law and order. That's the agreement. But unfortunately, the United States lets its guard down and the Russians and Chinese break their agreement. And you can imagine what happens after that. All hell breaks loose. Now, if you listen to my video, you listen to this, I didn't tell you the date, but I pretty much tell you the location. The drill, the nuclear drill was in Ohio with the Indiana National Guard, put two plus two together. FEMA station around the Washington, D.C. area, right outside that region. The Red Fault Line, the Red Fault, it's right there. The Great Lakes, the Salt Caves, the future map of what the United States would look like. See, they know the date, they know the time, and they know the location. They're preparing for it. 
and they were hoping that the Chinese and Russians will be an honorable bunch of people <laughs> that don't happen food gun water ammunition can't express this amount of medication more people die from a simple cut and got infected you had no way of treating the wound not going to give you any more details not going to do it If I was to tell you the date that this event would take place, then what's it going to matter anyway? Or you could save lives. I'm not going to be able to save anybody's lives in this area because nobody's going to listen to me. Nobody. You know. We discussed Don Anaki before. And I want to ask you something. Remember the symbol, the ball, and that of the winged planet that you see on the pyramids and you see all throughout ancient history? You know what I'm talking about. This pattern right here. This design right here, United States Air Force design. Who do you think put it there? 